Hi, this is Michael P. Coleman, content director for Brother Be Well, thanking you for checking out this series, this trauma and healing series brought to you by Blue Shield of California's Blue Sky Initiative. Hi, I'm Michael P. Coleman, content director and lead writer for Brother Be Well. Today, we're talking with Justin Martinez, a youth advocate and Brother Be Well content contributor, and he's got an inspirational story of trauma, resilience, and recovery. He's also a great friend of mine. Justin Martinez, how you doing today? Really good, Michael. Never better. Thank you. Good to, good to have you. Good to have you. Last time out, Justin, you talked about uh, some of those early experiences you had. Uh, they're referred to often, that type of experience as is referred to as an adverse childhood experience or ACEs. Um, they result in toxic stress in children who have been exposed to situations like parental incarceration, substance mm -hmm. abuse in the home, sexual abuse, violence, neglect, et cetera. Yep. I'm wondering, given what you experienced in your house and at the very young age in which you experienced it, were you even aware of ACEs at any point in time while you were growing up? And were you aware of them during those most difficult times? No, definitely not. Uh, I just uh, learned about ACEs in college um, last year, actually, about a year ago. Um, it really opened my eyes to studying what it is and how it's affected me in particularly. Um, but ACEs, yeah, I identify with seven out of the 10 aces so the quiz there's 10 questions and 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 i identify with seven so definitely um toxic toxic stress environment you know and it, um it's led to difficulties uh in my life that i've had to overcome justin you you've uh you believe that your exposure to aces uh, mm -hmm. has led to some chronic health problems um yep. If, if that's true, it's it's textbook. A lot of people suffer from chronic health problems that have experienced ACEs. I'm wondering, taking a look at you, your average person wouldn't realize that you've got chronic health problems. So mm -hmm. You talk a little bit about how your physical body deals with some of those early childhood experiences and how you manage that today. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, once I learned about the toxic stress and the correlation between toxic stress and autoimmune disease, um, in the in the body, uh, it really kind of clicked for me. Uh, the light bulb went off. I was diagnosed with uh, rheumatoid arthritis uh, when I was 23, so that was 2013. And I didn't know that toxic stress was a contributor to it. You know, I always thought it was diet. I thought it was me playing sports. I thought it was inherited, which are all possibilities. But um, when I learned about the toxic stress related to ACEs, I knew right then and there that, you know, that was definitely a contributor for me in my life with rheumatoid arthritis, which is an autoimmune disease that um, attacks the joints. It attacks my wrist, it, it's attacked my foot, it's attacked my hip. And I've had five surgeries in the middle of my 20s related to this uh, autoimmune disease. Wow. So. Yeah, definitely. Uh, toxic stress is a contributor to inflammation in the body and and autoimmune diseases. So it's good to be aware of. It, it, absolutely good to be aware of. Justin, if anybody, if you'll allow me to say, if anybody's an expert on coping with trauma, you would be one of those experts. So mm -hmm. when we next sit down, we're going to talk about a little bit uh, your exciting and for me, uh, transformative uh, ways of dealing with trauma, if you're open to that. Absolutely, Mike. Thank you. Absolutely. Listen, Justin, thanks a lot for being with us today. Really appreciate it. And Absolutely. my name is Michael P. Coleman. Again, I'm content director with Brother Be Well. If, you, if you're curious about Brother Be Well and you want to find out what we're up to, go to mentalhealthca.org. In the meantime, I want to encourage you to take good care of yourself and somebody else. We'll see you next time. My pleasure.